Gravity is one of the most important, well-established laws in physics. We know that if an apple falls from a tree, it has to eventually land on the ground. But what about people? Even though we're hopefully not falling from trees, how do we sense gravity? Why is it that we never wake up in the morning and have to ask ourselves, which way is up? Or what about down? We actually often take this sense for granted. And for millions of people suffering from a condition called benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, gravity can present really debilitating challenges on a daily basis. Today we're going to be discussing the human sensations of gravity and motion and the results when these senses aren't working properly. I'm Dr. Joe Sakamore, Director of Clinical Innovations here at the American Institute of Balance. Did you know that the inner ear is actually the most important organ for balance? While most of us recognize the hearing portions of the inner ear, it often goes unsaid that the inner ear gives us almost all of the information that we need regarding gravity and motion. The inner ear, located behind the eardrum on either side of the head, is made of two parts. One is responsible for hearing and the other for balance. The two structures sit right next to each other. The hearing organ, called the cochlea, looks like a small little snail shell and transmits information to the brain about sounds, like speech. The other organ pictured here, which looks like a complex maze of loops, is called the vestibular system. The system is very, very small and could even fit on your baby pinky nail. But it's also very, very important to our daily lives. Its job is complex and yet simple. Tell the brain and body about gravity and motion. Now inside each of these vestibular systems are two gravity sensing structures. These structures consist of tiny little hair cells which have sitting on top of them a sand-like structure called otoconium, also known as rocks, crystals, or stones. When gravity pushes or pulls on these hair cells and stones, the weight created by these stones causes the hair cells to bend and a nerve impulse is sent to the brain telling it where the earth is. This complex messaging system is happening in all of us right now, even when we don't realize it. The vestibular system is also what tells the brain how far, how fast, and in what direction our heads are moving. This process occurs in these little tubes shown here, which are called semicircular canals. These canals are filled with the fluid and also have tiny little hair cells. But instead of gravity sensation, these cells tell us about movement. When the head moves, so do the hair cells, telling us precise information about the movement of the head. The important thing here is that these tubes are not supposed to be sensitive to gravity. Now, what happens when the crystals from the gravity sensor are knocked out of or fall out of place? They can cause an abnormal sensation of motion this is known as vertigo and is usually triggered by changing positions of the head or lying down. This sensation can also come with really nasty symptoms, including nausea, imbalance, dizziness, and a higher likelihood of falling. This debilitating condition that I'm describing is called benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. And it's actually the most common cause of vertigo, affecting 50% of people over the age of 70. But there's good news. There's a very effective, yet comfortable, treatment procedure. With a proper diagnosis and treatment from an experienced healthcare provider, this condition can be resolved in as little as one session. These treatments are called canalith repositioning maneuvers. The goal of the treatment is simple. Move the displaced crystals back into their designated location into the gravity sensor within the ear. We do this by maneuvering the head and body comfortably into a series of different positions. Imagine moving a marble through a maze. Once corrected, symptoms usually resolve immediately and the likelihood that these crystals fall back out of place is actually quite small. Determining the cause of your vertigo or your symptoms is critically important in providing the correct type of treatment. So, if you or a loved one have experienced any type of dizziness or imbalance, contact your healthcare provider and start the road to improvement. Remember, you don't have to learn to live with it. To learn more, visit Dizzy.com.